Hello, everyone. Welcome to Brave Healer Productions and Brave Storytime. My name is Lisa Karasek, and I am the moderator for Brave Storytime. I'm here today with author Susie Thompson, and today Susie is going to be reading her chapter about Sundance from the Brave Kids book. Susan, Susie, sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> um, I just have a couple questions for you. How did you come to be in this book? My sister is uh, a part of the Brave Healers Productions. And she introduced me to them because she knew that I always wanted to write a children's book. And she had had the opportunity to do that with a changing um, kids book. And so I, I got mixed up or I got put together with uh, Laura and um, they introduced me to this book and it was just right up my alley. It's about being brave. And since I've been around horses forever, nothing's more brave than being with the horse. And so um, that's why I was brought in to write the story. Nice. And why did you want to write this particular chapter? Well, because there's horses up in the wild horses up in the mountains um, of Yakima, Washington, and it's a reservation and they have wild horses up there. And um, the wild horses are gathered up and uh, taken um, up to Canada and the baby horses are left behind. And when I found out about that, it just broke my heart. And I wanted to get the word out. And I got associated with a 501c3 called Heartstrings for Horses. And I just wanted to get the word out what they're doing because what they're doing is wonderful. And so I wanted to write the story about Sundance being brave when his mother was taken and about um, this Heartstrings for Horses trying to help these little baby horses. Thank you for that. That is, yeah, thank you. Truly, truly special. Thank you for that. I appreciate you for that. Yeah, very special. Gratitude for that work. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How did it feel then writing your chapter? Well, I was a little bit sad. Um, whenever I talk about it, I get sad but I was also excited that I was able to get the word out and that I was able to tell people what's going on up there and that there's actually a company that's trying to save the babies. And so I was happy about that. And I was very motivated to let people know about the situations like that. Motivation is good. And that's mm -hmm. a very good cause to be motivated. Thank you again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, Susie, if you're ready, are you ready to read your chapter? I'm ready. Okay. Yes, I am. Would you like to show everyone the book and um, and okay. your, your little image there? And Yes, here's the book. It's called Brave Kids. And it's it, it's uh, mainly written by Kelly. And then she, we're all collaborative authors in here. Mm -hmm. And Kelly Kishula. she does a little uh, uh, illustration. And, and this is Sundance. Yes. He did of Sundance. And he's a buckskin horse. And I'll tell you all about Sundance's story. Awesome. <clears throat> so Sundance, the survival of an orphan wild horse by Susan Thompson. And I'm chapter two in this book. Sundance was born in a hot sun on a desert reservation in eastern Washington. Hours after birth, his beautiful mother was captured and carried away in a roundup of wild horses. Lost and alone, he remembered what he had, she had told him. You are very special, Sundance. You will grow up to be a stallion, which means you're the leader of the herd. Remember to both love and be brave. He didn't know what it was meant to be a stallion, but he was determined to find out. He tossed his glossy mane and his yellow coat glistened in the sun. Sundance missed his mother so much. I must be brave, he thought, as he looked over the terrain, noticing the blue-green sagebrush and yellow sunflowers. He took a little nibble. Bleh! I can't eat that. 
he thought as his tongue felt tingly and numb. He was so hungry, the grumble in his belly disguised the oncoming motorcycle growl. He was helmeted riders threw dust in the air as they circled and chased him to the waiting truck. Forced into a large opening, Sundance found himself alone and afraid. Soon other foals from the herd were also rounded up and chased into the truck. They gathered at the back near the young stallion, snorting in fear. Be brave, Sundance said, remembering what his mother had said, and all the other young horses settled down around him. This comforted them and helped them deal with the loss of their mothers. The truck began to move on a bumpy road, causing the baby horses to wobble. Stand tall, Sundance kept saying. It will keep you from falling. He pictured his beautiful mother and how she taught him to stand as a newborn with weak legs. Where are we going, Sundance? What will become of us? The hungry babies somehow knew this strong stallion would be their protector. Although the future of the herd is still a mystery, the wild horse spoke softly saying, don't worry, you are my herd and I have a good feeling about this journey. The horses stopped shivering in fear. Sundance is their stallion and he will defend them. Whoosh, the air brakes of the truck sounded as it began to slow down. Where are we? Will there be food here for us? We are all so hungry. The wild babies cried out to Sundance. Being unsure of what has happened, the young stallion took his position at the front of the herd. Anyone or anything trying to hurt his friends would have to go through him first, and he was ready to fight. Strong and brave, Sundance used his big heart and courage to guide him. As the truck stopped, the young horses heard a gruff voice say, where do you want these critters? The answer came softly. They will all go here in this pen together. As the huge trailer door swung open, Sundance saw beautiful green hay piles laid out in an orderly row. An old woman named Anna spoke and approached Sundance in a non-threatening way. Oh, you must be the leader of the herd. Come on out and bring your friends. I won't hurt you. I'm sure you're hungry. The young horses arrived at the rescue farm, focusing on the health and safety of all animals in their barns. It was called Heartstrings for Horses. What a beautiful place, snorted Sundance, as he comforted the other foals. We will get food here and shade from the hot sun. Follow me and I will lead you. Be brave. Anna could tell this buckskin stallion colt was chosen <clears throat> by the others as the leader of the herd by the way they gathered behind him. Her heart was filled with love as she watched him lead the others to the hay pots. The foals began grazing and became calm as the dust stirred from the truck pulling away. Phew, thought Sundance, I never want to see another big livestock truck. He could tell the rest of the herd was also happy to see the truck leave. One curious little filly began to question Sundance. What is our future, Sundance? Are we safe here? They were all missing their mothers. Being an orphan foal was very scary. Anna soon came out from the barn with buckets of warm milk. All right, kiddos, you must eat this to be strong and healthy, she said positively. The fences to the pen had an opening near the ground where Anna carefully placed the first milk bucket in the foal's pen. Sundance was the first to approach. He stretched his long neck out so far, trying to understand how to drink without getting close to the human. The human, the foal's experience with humans taught them not to trust. The young stallion stuck his nose in the bucket and snorted as he blew bubbles. Sundance had more milk on his face than in his belly. The other foals laughed at him. See how funny Sundance looks? His face is all white. And one said one little filly. With practice, Sundance learned how to drink from the bucket and in time gained trust in the humans feeding him. All the other foals became brave and ate because Sundance's courage. With milk, fresh hay and shade from the sun, the young Mustangs began to grow. Soon you'll be ready for adoption to your forever home, said the woman told Sundance. 
I will make sure to match you with the human who will love you and care for you the way I do. The stallion knew her words meant something good. The rescue was an annual adoption day where people from all around come and look at foals and hopefully give them a home. Not everyone can adopt one of these wild mustangs. Heartstrings for Horses does a complete check on the applications. People must come to the farm and play with the babies, prove they have a safe place to take them and generally be a nice person. Horses cost a lot of money and take much care. Anna begins her talk with anyone wanting to adopt. On this day, Sundance was drawn to a young girl, cowgirl named Sally. As she approached Sundance's pen, he noticed how kind she was and fell in love with her. The young stallion watched as Sally's face lit up. Mom, she yelled, this horse likes me, I can tell. Sundance felt an instant connection with the young cowgirl. Anna walked up to Sally and her mother and said, he is a beauty, isn't he? He's a very special stallion. As Sally stood on the fence staring at Sundance, trying to get closer, her mother explained, Sally is a special cowgirl and she needs a special horse. I haven't seen her smile like that since the loss of her father last year. It was clear to Anna, Sundance sensed the feeling in Sally's heart were the same feelings in his heart. Sally was allowed to enter the young foal's pen and like a miracle, Sundance walked right up to her and put his soft nose on her face. I know how to make you feel better, Sundance told her with a nuzzle. You could be my human. You need me and I need you. Sally understood. Let's fill out the paperwork and see what happens. Sally's mother said as she hugged her daughter. Really, mom? She squealed with joy. The workers from the rescue followed Sally and her mother to the place that would be Sundance's new home to make sure it was safe for him. Signs of Sally's dream to someday have a horse of her own were obvious. Sally's father made sure there were barns and safe fencing before he passed away. And Sally's mother had saved enough money for the horse's care. As they arrived back at Heart Strings for Horses, Anna announced, you have passed our adoption test and Sundance is excited to come home with you. Sally screamed. She ran to Sundance and so began the bonding of this orphan foal and a girl without her daddy. Heartstrings for Horses has made another match with a special horse and a forever home. As the trailer arrived to take Sundance to his new home, he was again frightened. Remember to both love and be brave. Hearing his mother's voice, the young stallion knew he must be brave. The touch of Sally's hands on his soft coat relaxed him. He listened as her gentle voice encouraged him forward. Sundance was beginning, Sundance was being taken away from his herd, but he could sense he would be safe with Sally. Using all the courage he could muster, the young Mustang loaded himself into the trailer. The sound of his hooves echoed in the empty space. As they arrived at Sally's ranch, Sundance couldn't believe his eyes. The sight of this beautifully built barn and green pastures made his new home look like a paradise. The young Mustang knew in his brave heart his future with Sally would be full of wonderful adventures. Heartstrings for Horses made another special match and Sundance survived. Well, thank you for listening. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. That was a beautiful story. Thank you. Um, I'm, it was so... I loved the happy ending. Okay. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> okay. That, that does happen to quite a few foals. They do get a happy ending. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me, Susie, just mm -hmm. now reading the chapter, knowing that we have people listening, people who are going to be watching these video, this video, how did it feel reading your chapter? I was excited and emotional. And I was really hoping that to get this word out about these poor little babies and how this happens to them. Yeah. Thank you for that. Do you have any last thing that you want our listeners to know about 
you know, about the real situation, about your chapter, about the books, about anything. Do you have any last, anything that you want to share? Well, Heartstrings for Horses is an amazing place. Not only do they take in uh, orphan babies from the reservation, they also take in babies that have lost their mothers in a residential situation. And they take mares uh, and they um, have a vet come and the vet will give the mares um, some injections that make them uh, produce milk. And then they take the babies and they actually match the babies with the host mare and get them to drink. And so they can actually feel what it feels like to have a mom and drink from a mom. Oh. And, um, beautiful. Oh, uh Oh, I think she froze a little. Oh, beautiful. Uh, that is such a good heartwarming story. I'm glad it has that ending. Let's see if Susie comes back. Let's give us a moment. Huh. Well, folks, that, oh, there you are. Okay. There. Okay. I think you froze a little bit. Um, yeah, I did. Yes. It, um, it's just Beverly Bushart from Granite Falls, Washington. She's the CEO of Heartstrings for Horses. And she does amazing work along with Dana um, from the uh, Horse Therapy Veterinary Clinic in Monroe. Washington. There were yeah, they're wonderful, wonderful people. Nice. It's I'm so glad to know that they're they're out there. Yeah, it, it's great. And that's that's the story I want to get across to everyone is there are people out there actually doing things to try to make this a better situation for these baby horses. Good. Good. Ah yeah. heartwarming. <laughs> Thank you so much, Susie, for that today. Sure. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Absolutely. So good um, segue. So yes, please come back to the YouTube channel, like, and subscribe Brave Healer Productions. And this is Brave Storytime. Again, my name is Lisa Karasek, a community manager for Brave Healer Productions. And today our author is Susie Thompson. Thank you so much, Susie. You're welcome. Thank you.